guys, PWB. So typically I always do, you know, I'm normally doing challenges or some type of workouts, but today I wanna to go over some of the Rocks gear. Now, I got this in February of this year, so I waited about four months just so I can go ahead and see the durability, how I like it and all that stuff. I don't wanna just buy it, use it for a day, and then talk about how great it is. Um, I buy a lot of the rock stuff, however, I'm really critical on a lot of the things, right? So today, first I'm going to talk about the case, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk about the headphones, and then I'm going to tell you if I recommend them or if I don't recommend them, but if being all honestly, just you just do whatever the fuck you want to do. Going on with the case, the case, one of the biggest things I liked about this case, it has vits. It has vits where you can, it breathe. So, first of all, let's just be honest, I like the fact that it even had a case. I didn't, it's a hard box case. Some of the beats comes in like these little soft little cloth cases that doesn't protect if it falls or whatever. This will protect if it falls. I never had it fall before, but it will protect if it did. Uh, have these little vents obviously for you to breathe. Now if you open it up, a couple of things come out. One of the things that come out when you open it up is a charge, like a charger. This is great because if you ever have one of these wireless Bluetooth headphones, you know there's a lot of times where your stuff just, just died on you in the gym. Then you're walking around, hey, can I borrow a charger? Hey, can I borrow a charger? Hey, can I borrow a charger? And the gym members, people are like, no, dude, fuck you. So this, it has a charger in there. It's quickly, you can easily plug it in to a wall, whatever. Uh, and it's obviously best for storage too. You don't have to put it in your pocket or a gym bag, whatever. It's all right here. Um, another thing I like is that it has a cord. So just in case you have something that you're you playing music or something that doesn't have Bluetooth or your Bluetooth is acting up or whatever it is, uh, you can just plug this into, or maybe even best, a treadmill. Like a lot of these treadmills at the gym, if you want to listen to what's on TV, a lot of that stuff you cannot just Bluetooth it. You can just connect the cable right into it. So that's something I really did like about it. However, I never used it. Be honest, I use a charger, I've not used the cord that plugs into the, I just, I never used it. I, I'm over here rocking that to my phone, not treadmills. So, hook this, I hook this right onto my bag, right? I got this rock bag, I clip it right there so it just dangles right off of my uh, gym, my, my gym bag. So, awesome, really easy for me to unzip and then bam, okay? And then, obviously I just like the design. The design looks pretty, just fucking badass. The rock makes some really good stuff. All right, blood, sweat, and respect, which is just his mantra. Let's go straight into the headphones. All right, so right off the bat, I get a lot of questions. People ask me at the gym. I had the same questions. Is that, do this sound better than Beats? Okay, no, it does not sound better than Beats. Beats sounds way better, okay? You have more bass. I have the, I have, uh, the Beats Studios, okay? It covers my entire ear. So it sounds better, the beat sounds better than this, okay? And it also gets louder than this. When I first put this on, I'm over here stay trying to turn it up, I'm like, something's fucking wrong with this. Because I, it just has a better sound. Uh, excuse me, that's the reason. Oh, yeah, sound and volume and bass. It has all that stuff better than this do. Um, that being said, what I really do like about these is the actual earpiece. It's very comfortable, right? And they also come out for you to go ahead and wash them if they get all soggy and everything else. The beats, that stuff peels off, right? So the ear earmuffs or whatever, it peels off. It, it's because it's all rubber or fake rubber or whatever. I don't know, leather. I don't know. But it peels off and it looks shitty, okay? This one you can actually take off. You can wash it if you want, and then you can put it right back on. Um, another thing I like about this is if you hit this rock bull thing, I'm not sure if it's, it's, it's a bull. Yeah, that's a bull. It's a bull. It's a bull, right? If you hit this bull, right? Uh, what happens is the music turns down, but everybody else's voice magnifies. So I can hear someone talking to me, like mag the voice is magnified in my ear, but I can still lightly hear what my music is going on to. Another thing I like about these that my beats do not do is this can go ahead and pause, go forward, go backwards, all by a click of the button on these little buttons right here. If you just hold the plus, like the volume button, if you hold that, uh, hold that, it'll go ahead and. Um, skip to the next one. The minus one will go ahead and go back to your last song. The camera died. I got it. Whatever. But hey, when the camera did die, um, I accidentally dropped these. I was actually being cool. Who's going to come back over here and finish the video? So I spin them and I dropped them and they're not broken. So durability, 10 out of 10. Anyways, going back to what I was just saying. If you hit this button, it will go ahead and just stop whatever you're doing. I don't know why you would do that when you could clearly just hit this, but this will, if you hit this button, the bull button, your music will continue to play. However, if you hit this button, the music completely stops. So that just helps you as far as differentiating what you want to do. Um, design's awesome, all right? Got a nice little design, blood, sweat, and respect. Yeah, things are all, actually, this is for when I just dropped it. If you want to zoom in there. 
Yep, that just happened today. Yep, today. Anyways, uh, durability, yeah. Um, other than that, guys, now, when you turn it on, you're going to uh, obviously find this out, right? When you get it, make sure you hold this up for three seconds. When I first tried it on uh, at the store, I didn't think, I thought it was dead, so I, I kind of just did this, right? If you just hold up, you got to hold it for three seconds, then it will turn on. If you don't, then it just won't turn on and look dumb. You have a blue light here, that's when you know that it's on. Obviously, red means your shit's about to die, so go fix yourself. Other than that, guys, um, the the weight is really really light it kind of feels like a toy so when you take it out it feels really like really really light right the beats kind of have like it, it feel, the beats feels more expensive than this this whatever that really doesn't bother you i think it's light for training whatever also if you see the little grooves right here or the little piece right here all right this doesn't come off like a lot of, and i never had this problem with the beat uh the beats but you hear a lot that that top part, your, your head part, whatever, it will come off or it just it will just pop off and then people have to tape it together. Had it for four months, did not happen. That's one of the reasons why I want to wait so long before I did this video is because I heard a lot of that stuff happened to the beast. I was going to make sure it didn't happen with this. All right. Now, going to, into training, how it is with training. This shit does not come off. Whether I'm doing lunges, jumping, did not come off. The only time it do come off, right, and this all depends on what your training is, is when I'm doing T-bar raises and I'm slamming the waist down to the ground, that impact will make it slide down, okay? Um, other than that, it doesn't have any crazy, it won't slide off, if, if that, whatever, right? Just make it a little tight. I ran with these, I jumped with these, all that, different, okay? I did not swim with these, so this will perform this. I play basketball with these things on, it did not come off, all right? Actual in a game, okay? As long as someone will actually hit your head, if they hit your head, then hit them back. But it would not come off on that, on that, on that aspect as, as well. Um, charge is pretty quick. It'll let you know if it's about to be dead. I'm not sure what the beats, but I know that these, it will tell you on your phone how, many, how much battery percentage it has, which is really well, uh, really good. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and give no percentages. I'm not going to say 10 out of 10 because I don't really rate shit like that. Um, but I do like it. If you don't mind the fact that it's not crazy loud or if you don't mind the fact, if you're more into uh, the, how loud it gets, the beats, the, you know, all that stuff, the bass, then obviously beats would probably be your thing. But however, if you like design, these look way better in my opinion than the beats. If you like the extra little technology as far as clicking the button, you can hear other people better. If you like the fact that you could change these soles out and wash them so they don't get all messed up. Um, if you like all that, and then the cases, the cases are way better way better than the beats. Um, if you like all that stuff with the cases, guys, then obviously this would be your best bet over the beats because that's the only thing that's really his own competitor. Um, yeah, hope you like the video, guys. If you do, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, guys, fuck it. Peter! Peace!